An antiques, gifts, and collectibles store in Liberty that just opened last month has a much greater impact on the community than you might realize. We've got Angel Askew here from Liberty Emporium. Welcome. Glad you're here. Thank you. Glad to be here. Um, Liberty Emporium supports several wildlife rescues. So uh, tell us how that works with the booths. Um, well, we have, like I said, a, a lot of uh, just basic gift items mm -hmm. and things like that the different rescues have for sale. So anybody that comes to buy those ant those yeah, those items those, there. Shop. Yeah, a hundred percent of the uh, profits go to each individual rescue. That's awesome mm -hmm. what you're doing, and I know that yeah, you thanks. also operate Izzy's Pond Animal Rescue. Um, how did you fare in the storm? Oh, we did better than a lot. I mean, mm -hmm. we're we were able to purchase a generator, so we did not lose our our. Uh, there you are. Yeah, our wow. frozen foods. Uh, the only thing that we did lose, um, other than some superficial damage, was our vaccines, and that was. But you know, I mean, yeah. those can be bought. All of our animals are fine, and that's what's important. And you've got a whole community that you work with. Mm -hmm. I know that several of your other animal rescue partners were impacted by the storm, um, and they also shared some pictures with us. Yes. Tell us a little bit about um, Magnolia Fawn Rescue. There's Paws Animal Wildlife Sanctuary as well. Yeah, Liberty supports uh, ten different animal rescues. Yeah. That. Um, oh, look at that sweet fawn. Oh, sorry. 10 different animal rescues that uh, are, you know, here local to the to the area. And so we've got pictures of some of them uh, lost some animals, but mostly everybody didn't. So, you know, it was, it, was some, it was some damage, but we were really lucky compared to a lot of other places. And while we keep looking at those, your, <clears throat> your format, you've always had a heart for, for animals. That's really the reason you do mm -hmm. everything you do. Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And then so with all these great organizations, we wanted to bring some more in. We're joining um, Mike Hoskinson from Wild at Heart Wildlife Rehabilitation here and Valerie Smith from Secondhand Sanctuary, uh, along with their animal friends. Um, thanks for making the trip down here. Mm -hmm. um, first, Mike. Introduce us to your owl and, and tell us a little bit about him. Okay, this is a barn owl. He's mm -hmm. the rarest kind of owl we have in South Carolina. This one came to us injured. He's got a bunch of flight feathers that won't grow back, so he's a permanent animal. My wife Linda and I run wild at heart, and our primary concerns are birds of prey and skunks, but we wow. decided to bring this one today. His name is Philip. It's kind of a strange name a for, a, for an owl, but he was a, a winner of a contest named him that. <laughs> but we, we enjoy doing what we're doing. Like she was talking about damage, we did have a good bit of damage and crushed cages and stuff at the rescue, but a lot of trees down, but we didn't lose any animals either, so we're fortunate there. And I'm interested in your story too. I mean, we've got a lot of people who love animals, but how do you come to open up a, a whole organization, Wild at Heart? My my wife actually started that res that thing probably oh I don't know 20 years or more ago. Her and four other ladies started a rescue, and it it eventually developed into Wild at Heart when we shut down the other one. But she kept bringing she, things she, home. That yeah, she help, started. She? Neighbors brought her a little bird and several things, and it just grew into. A, a big thing. I married into it about 20 years ago when my wife's been yeah. doing it 45 or 50 years. So. Your heart's in it too then. Oh yeah. Yeah, <laughs> very. it's it's rewarding work and I know um, Valerie, we've had you on the show before mm -hmm. um, of uh, Secondhand Sanctuary and and you've got a little bit of a of a bashful pig kind of sneaking in. Let's, yes. let's, let's learn about Ruby. Well this is Ruby and she's a Cooney Cooney and Cooney Cooney pigs are native to New Zealand. Mm -hmm. uh, Cooney Cooney in the Maori language, uh, which is obviously native to New Zealand, is uh, is what they've named her <laughs> and it translates into fat round. <laughs> fat round <laughs> walks backward very yes. well. Yes. Did that scoot all the way across our studio that's when we were getting ready? Uh -huh, that's her moonwalk. Uh, and, and you've told me uh, around the house she's more like a dog. How does she uh, how does she function throughout the day? Is her bell oh, ringing definitely. and letting out of doors? Oh yes, so she'll usually she goes outside to go potty just like a dog would. Uh, uh -huh. She'll stand at the door when she wants to go outside. Obviously, she's very treat motivated, so they're very, very easy to train. She knows a couple of trips, tricks to sit and um, she can spin around. But oh, sorry, uh, I'm scared them. Yeah, she is being bashful today. <laughs> I wondered if I could offer her a treat, if she would, sure. if she would go along with that. And, yeah. and while we do, so we'll give Ruby a little treat. Maybe you want to come out here for Come some here, sweetheart. No? Ruby. Come here, babe. You know, Ruby's going to do what Ruby wants to do. This is true. Um, and I thought it was interesting when, when all that pumpkin video was on. Eh, come uh, on back uh, in. We're safe. <laughs> when all that pumpkin video came on, everybody was like, oh, yeah, we have an event coming up. Because a lot of the animals you all work with and rescue 
can use these pumpkins right after mm -hmm. Halloween, right? Mm -hmm. Very beneficial mm -hmm. health-wise for them. So oh, November yeah. 1st, you all will go to Swamp Rabbit Cafe uh -huh. from 2.30 on. And anybody who wants to um, offload their, their jack-o'-lantern that they no, no longer need, what will uncut, you do with it? Uncut pumpkins. Uncut pumpkins. Yeah, uncut and un unpainted. Yes. Yeah, and then we'll, you know, feed them to our animals. We all have plenty to feed them to. <laughs> it's wonderful. <laughs> Indeed. All right. Well, um, anything else you want people to know about, you know, when, when they go to Liberty Emporium and shop? This has evolved <laughs> over some years. It started out as a pop-up, and now you've got this whole market, and it's doing great things. It is. It is. We're, we're doing a lot better than we uh I noticed the whole reason we're doing a lot better than we thought we were going to and yeah. so what and, and people love supporting a cause that, that supports animals and that's mm -hmm. that's the heart of everything you're doing mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and we have a little bit of something for everybody mm -hmm. Well, we loved it. Love to hear about it. There's some some pictures, some of those booths. There's Paws Animal Wildlife Sanctuary, and, and just a lot of shopping to be done, and feel like you're doing a little bit of good along the way, which is really special. Yeah, we so. support ten local animal rescues. Yep, a lot of work to be done, and, mm -hmm. and you know, speedy recovery for everybody. I know everybody lost a little something, and now we're we're back on our feet. But it's mm -hmm. a great community together. Angel, Mike, Valerie, thank you very much. We appreciate you all. And we'll put you, the information you. on screen. Liberty Emporium is located at 15 South Commerce Street in downtown Liberty. They're open Wednesday through Friday from noon to 7, Saturday from 10 to 7. And you can learn about Liberty Emporium and its animal rescue partners online.